What I have here is a Turnergy 9X transmitter. Um, I had one of the gimbals fail and uh, did a lot of research online and Turnergy doesn't make replacement gimbals for this model. I was about to throw the whole thing out. I followed some steps to uh, repair one of them. Somebody does a really good article and there's another YouTube video on it on how to repair one of the pots, but that didn't work so well. Um, I did a lot more research on the Aurora 9 gimbals and uh, a lot of people, some people said they worked. I couldn't find any videos so I thought I'd um, demonstrate that I do have this working and they work great. Um, this is a Dremel job. You do have to hone out um, the, the circles for the um, gimbals. They don't fit right in so you, you take a Dremel and very carefully sand the top and bottom and one of the sides needs to be done. Um, they're ball bearing, so they're a lot smoother than the stock ones. I'm really glad I took the time to uh, to do this because they're they're really nice. Uh, they're both the same gimbal. Um, there's adjustments on the other side, so basically this screw right here, uh, you either screw that all the way down or all the way up on each one, and all the way up um, makes it center on both axes and all the way down makes it loose in the middle for your throttle. Um, so other than that there is a pin out um, to connect the proper wires. Um, I have this printed out, I might as well show you. For the up and down axis it's orange to positive, positive is red, uh, brown goes to signal, signal is white and green goes to ground, ground is black. And for the left and right stick yellow to positive, blue to signal, black to ground. Um, in order to do this you do need to flash this with um, the ER9X firmware. I tried these with the stock firmware and it doesn't work. The stock firmware does not have any mechanism to uh, calibrate the sticks so that's an important thing. The, the pots are different so you have to calibrate the sticks in order for it to work properly. That was kind of a pain um, soldering all these leads on. Inside here is actually the pins. I put, I put the pins through a breadboard and um, basically just heat shrink them uh, so that they're not going to short out to anything but I can cut that open if I want to um, flash it again but that's really just a one-time deal. Um, but if you can see and, and you should look up a, a, a picture that's better than what I'm showing you here. I'm just showing you where where it's soldered. Um, so I will be right back and I'm going to show you how to calibrate the sticks because that was the other hard part. Uh, there was no videos I could find and um, it's a pretty easy process so I'll be right back. Um, one other thing with this, in order to get these gimbals to fit, um, you'll read a lot online about how people, some people found the need to um, cut uh, circuit boards. I didn't have to do any of that. Um, what I did have to do is break these little mounting holes off. Uh, there's more than four of them. I think there's like four or six per gimbal. Um, you just snap them off. Um, there's, it'd be a real pain to try and rework the mounting holes on the controller uh, to make them line up or to try and do something different. So I just snapped all those off. I honed out the holes and I uh, used hot glue. They, they fit in there tight enough that they'll work on their own, but the problem is if you push on it too hard and it pops itself back in, then you got to take the whole transmitter apart um, to, uh, to push them back in. So as you can see, I mean, they're mounted flush. Um, they're really tight. I could probably drop this right now and it's probably not going not gonna to move. So, Okay, what we're going to do now is um, a stick calibration with the ER9X firmware. Okay, so since um, this gimbal has just been replaced, I did this one previously. This one was just replaced so it's giving me this alert. Gives you a few different alerts. Now this one was previously replaced and um, as you can see I've calibrated uh, the sticks already so that one does work as it's supposed to. But when you when you put these in since the pots are different you're not going to get full range of motion so you have to you have to calibrate it and it took me forever to figure out how to actually do this. You hold the left button and then that takes you in a whole, into a whole different set of sub menus. Then you're going to go to the right, two, three, four, five, six. 
go to the sixth page, and this is the calibration page. Um, menu to start. Now you set your sticks to the midpoint. Um, everything needs to go to the midpoint. The um, Even your pots here, as you can see, if I turn these, they're going to go up and down. So the pots need to be set to the midpoint because you're calibrating those as well. So do that. This one centers on its own. This th th Your throttle does not go down. If you put your throttle all the way down, it will throw this off, and you're going to have to do it a bunch of times. I figured that out the hard way. Your throttle goes to the middle because it's asking you for the midpoint. Hit menu. Um, and now it's asking you to move everything. So you're basically, now you're doing the calibration. So you're moving these all the way to their far stops. Throttle. Pots. Menu and done. And basically it's just gonna go back to press menu again to start. So you're you're done here. Don't press the menu again, otherwise you're gonna start the calibration process all over. So now we're back and as you can see the calibration took care of all those issues. And that was already calibrated, but it got recalibrated. So that's all there is to it. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it's a it's a big job. It took me probably almost a full day, you know, to figure out how to flash the firmware, uh, to solder those wires on, to make the six pin header, um, to use the USB ASP tool. Um, and then, you know, it took me another few hours to, to mount the one gimbal. And then I gave up for the day. And then a few days later today, I did the other one. So it's a big job, but you know, if you like your nine X and, and one of your pots uh, fails on your gimbals, it's definitely a good way to salvage a radio because I, I like the radio. I'm used to it. Um, so I'm, I'm glad I went through and did it. So thanks for watching.